How's it going guys? Welcome back, welcome back. I've just got a quick update video for you guys today. This is for patch 14.20. There's been a few changes. I'm not gonna make this a long video because there aren't that many changes, uh, but there are three big things I wanna talk about. So number one is Leandri's got nerfed. Leandri's nerfed means nothing, okay? It sounds bad on paper, but we don't actually care about how quickly this clears the jungle because we're not buying it to clear the jungle. So this nerf doesn't hurt us. If anything, this is actually a buff because everyone else like Lilia buys this before we do. So it's less effective for them. So it's actually a net positive. It's a great change for us. The second buff that happened for us was Collector got buffed. Now it only costs 2,900, 2,950. He's a little less AD, but it's much easier to purchase. Or you can get it earlier. I don't buy this item, but if you play Lethality Yorick, you'll like this. And the only other item change was Static Shiv that just had a um, attack speed nerf, but it's not that big a deal. If you wanted to buy it for the uh, AOE clear anyway, that didn't get changed at all. So in terms of item builds, there is nothing wrong with running Red Smite or Blue Smite. Pick whichever one you want. I prefer Red Smite at the moment. It fits my play style. The Cleaver Shoujin Leandris has now changed. It is now a Cleaver Leandris build. You don't have to go Leandris second. You can go something else second if you want. You can go Cleaver, Death Dance Leandris, Cleaver, uh, Trinity Force Leandris, whatever you want to build, you can do. Just don't buy Shoujin. And the reason for that is Spirit of Shoujin does not work on Yorick anymore. This, uh, at one point, this was a broken item for us. It was overperforming drastically on us. Now it doesn't perform at all. So it's not even that the ghouls don't stack it. It's not even that the maiden doesn't stack it. It's a combination of the fact that the maiden doesn't stack it, ghouls don't stack it, and now they don't, they're not considered abilities for the damage amplification. So the, you, this 12% damage increase will not work on ghouls or maiden on the current patch. So if you're buying this item, you need to stop. Replace it with something else. Get GA, get Death Dance. Death Dance is probably a great alternative. Or you can go for um, even Overlord's Blood Mail or go for Holebreaker. Go for whatever you want. Just stop buying Death Dance. So what I would probably suggest you build is go for Cleaver Leandries with Trinity, GA, and finish it with a Hollowed. That is a absolutely amazing build if you can get this build. This is a solid build. Hollow Radiance got nerfed last patch, but it's such a good item still for us. Um, highly recommend it. In terms of runes, I love this page. Just picture this as Magical Footwear instead. I love this page of running the press the attack with the attack speed. If you ever wanted to run a really fun page, my favorite page at the moment to run, and I did a video on it, it should be coming out soon if it hasn't already, is actually this. We press the attack. You proc it so quick and so easy. And then eventually what you do is you grab Leandris and Cleaver and you just turn this build into a stay in combat because while your Leandris is proccing, it's refreshing to press the attack duration. So you can keep your press the attack damage amplification up so much. It is such a good build. Very hard to get away with though. Attack speed Yorick is so difficult. So you can still run it if you just run this because this two item power spike really amplifies the hell out of using press the attack. It stays active. Your damage amp goes off of the Leandries. It is super, super consistent. Um, so I would 100% recommend trying this out. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with going any of these items. If you need your ability, put these in. Usually, generally speaking, your second and la second last item, the second last item and last item, you'll pick a durability item. So it'll usually be something like, I need pushing, I'll get Hollow Radiance. And last item, I need some durability, I'll get Death Dance. Or I need some durability, I'll get GA. But majority of the time, your first three items are gonna be damage or bruiser items. And your sec last two items are gonna be bruiser or tank items. Um, I don't really like going something like opportunity last item, it doesn't really mean. But apart from that, runes wise, just run either this page with magic footwear and take Conqueror instead. You can also take um, Approach Velocity instead of Cosmic Insight if you prefer that. But apart from that, this patch should be fine. I won't have the chance to play on it too much, unfortunately. I've got a kidney laceration at the moment and a fractured spine. So I'm probably not gonna be playing too much this patch, but I will keep you guys updated on any builds or any games that I do play. And I hope you guys enjoy the content for this week. I've got everything pre-planned. So it's all been recorded, should get posted this week, every day up until Sunday. So I will catch you guys in those videos and thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video.